A very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, a lot of students have asked a query, how do we fill our KSET exam form in English? We don't get an option. Now to help you with this, uh, this is a specific class pertaining to uh, your KSET exam filling. So here you have the official notification. You can have it on cetonline.karnataka.gov.in. Now this official notification says that the last date to submit the online application is 30th of September. Your exam would be conducted on 26th November. The idea is where do you actually fill the form? So here is the link. You go on to this link uh, that is httpkea.kr.nic.in. When you go on to this link, it would redirect you to cetonline.karnataka.gov.in. Now, as soon as you open this page, this opens in Kannad language. So, you, uh, those who are not uh, well versed with Kannad, need to have an English version of it. So, how you can go is, you can go on to the top right corner and here is the option for Kannad. Click English here, right? So, this page would turn into English. But those students who are on their mobile device actually face a problem because they don't get an option for translate. So what you have to do here is click this three dots here and then on scroll on the bottom towards the lower side you would see the Kannad lit written here. It is Kannada. Okay. Uh, thanks Naveen. So it is Kannada written here and now you change it into English. So, uh, for those using a small screen mobile devices, the option won't be directly available. You have to go on to this uh, three dots that are given here. Go on to Canada and then click English. So, it would translate into the English version. Now, once you are on to the English version, go to the admissions. Go to KSET, which is in the lower most section, Karnataka State Eligibility Test. Once you go on to this link, there are five options that would come. You have to start with the online application link and then there is a detailed notification that talks about the same notification that we actually opened before. Okay, so go on to the online link. Uh, when I click the online link, it again gives me four options. One is to submit the application. The second is to upload the photograph and signature. The next is to generate the postal uh, chalan and then print the application. So when I click on to submit application for KSET, now your browser would give you an option to use the language as Kannada or English. In case you don't get this option, I'm moving to the English format for this. So you can see what are the details required. I'll just zoom it in order to help you better okay so it first says what is the exam you are filling in then you have to select the list of the subject that you would be appearing for your name gender all your details address then your qualifications your pass marks percentage the university whether you are a phd holder or not whether you are a state government servant or not and the things like that and then you have to select the state center test center okay so then you proceed on to i declare and preview once you preview you would go on to the next page where you would have the detailed information further now very important case examination is conducted across all subjects be it sciences and social sciences so what's really important is when you are selecting the subject be it any subject from the list you would be appearing for a common paper now note that common paper is as per the paper one syllabus for ugc net even for those appearing for sciences be, if they are appearing for chemical sciences life sciences physical mathematical or earth sciences it's not as per the part a of the csir syllabus it is as per the paper one of your ugc net so in every case be it the case whether you are science student or you are uh, 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 social science students, humanities students, you would have to appear for paper one, which is compulsory paper. And this paper one is the paper one, which is having the exactly same syllabus as UGC net. Now the syllabus for your KSET examination, if you go on to the previous page, 
let me open the link for the case set if you go on to the individual subjects right so uh, let's say i open any of the subjects from here so general paper i open here and this general paper the 10 units are exactly the same 10 units as in the csir uh, as in the ugc net syllabus right and the same applies for all the uh, all the subjects so you have to uh, prepare this paper one which is the general paper 50 questions on it as the syllabus clearly mentions there would be five questions carrying two marks from each module that means 10 units from every unit there would be five questions of two two marks each and then for your subject paper there would be 100 questions now the subject paper for the students preparing for sciences uh, for social sciences would be applicable from the section on ugc so this would include your uh, women's studies as well okay ugc has a huge number of list for subjects uh, the case at examination does not have so many subjects so but there are around 40 to 50 subjects which are available some of them are newly added this time so women's studies is one of those uh, which is added then for the sciences students these are the five subjects that are available right now if you want to understand the list of subjects even electronic science students now all engineering branches cannot apply but electronic science is one of the branches which is available for your ugc net as well so it is available in the ugc net so if you go here you do find programs for electronic science right so here you would have the video lectures the previous years papers as well as the study material for each of the subject now uh, what is important is all these subjects that are available here are the subjects that you can apply for KSET. The eligibility for the KSET you would have to check into the notification and the details and as we already mentioned this is the point where you can shift the language to English and even when you are going to fill the form there is an auto option for uh, going into or selecting the language as English right rather than Kannada so once you select the English then you have the complete option here I'll just scroll this page again in case those who are having difficulty and have uh, queries regarding how to fill the form what is uh, whether they are filling in the right information or not so I'm just opening the English version of it you can go through and check the point number where you are having doubt in case your system is not allowing you to translate it into English right so these are the list of points that are available here I hope uh, this was a beneficial session and the only idea of this session was to get you acquainted and help you sail through how to fill your form for the KSET examination thanks for joining in today in case you have any questions any queries any doubts feel free to connect back we'll be more than happy to resolve have a wonderful day ahead